should have a wine and cheese with it. Be friends with. <laughs> now, what do you say we go back home and get ready to welcome Uncle Vic back? Sure. I could use something to celebrate. Steph, I swear to you that I will never, ever again go behind your back. And I will never, ever again try to handle you or control you in any way. Whoever you want to work with or be friends with is, is completely up to you. Not me. I know that. And I, I honestly don't even know what the hell I was thinking. You weren't. You were listening to EJ. Yeah. WWSD. What was that? EJ's stupid advice, WWSD. Well, what would Steve not do? Yeah, you know, it's serious. Oh, I am taking it literally. By all accounts, your father was... Not somebody to emulate. Especially when it comes to relationships. And even Kristen knew that it was all going to blow up in my face. Then why didn't you, Chad? I mean, I... I love what we've built together. You're... You're everything I could have asked for in a partner, and... And I feel like I've been the same for you. Yeah, you have. And then some. So then why... Why be so petty? Why deceive me? Because I was scared. Scared of Alex? No. Scared of, uh, of losing you. And I'm scared of you deciding that maybe all of this was just... was too much. Me and the baggage, the kids, living together. Did I ever give you any reason to be scared? Steph, you're not just some random girlfriend. You're the first woman that I have let myself have feelings for since Abigail. And I'm absolutely terrified of it all going away. Again. So now you're just trying to hurt me. No, I'm just pointing out that it's very hypocritical of you to be so hard on Xander. So I'm a hypocrite. You're standing here throwing Xander's sins in my face, and what about you? You left your marriage to go shack up with EJ Demera of all people. Okay, first of all, Sean and I were separated at the time, and you were very supportive when I told you that EJ and I were seeing each other. Yeah, because I'm like you. I don't judge my friends. Oh, my God. Chloe, I'm just trying to help you. I don't want your help. Yeah, well, I think you kind of need it. Oh, you you want to do this? Let's do this. You talked about Xander shooting your mom? What about EJ? He shot your dad, and let's not even mention all the awful things he did to your own sister. Well, I am not here defending EJ. And I'm not here to defend Xander. But you're considering marrying him. Hey, I... I am just trying to keep you from throwing your life away on a guy who doesn't deserve you. Look, I, I appreciate your concern, but... I'm a grown-ass woman. I can make my own decisions about my love life, and I would appreciate it if you were a friend and you'd respect me as an adult. Okay, you're right. You're right, Chloe. But if Xander steps out of line even one time, you're going to be there to say I told you so? No. I'm going to be there to help you kick his ass from here to Scotland. <laughs> okay, do you? Yeah. Listen, I, I do appreciate you caring about me, all right? Of course. I love you. I love you, too. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> right. Oh, and tell Sean congrats on the promotion to police commissioner. Yeah, will do. And if you happen to see Brady, will you tell him I'm so sorry about Rachel? I will. I'm so sorry about Rachel.
I can't believe anyone would give full custody to Kristen. Yeah, I mean, either. So, you know, you can understand that's why I'm not really up for a big family gathering tonight. Are you sure? I mean, it might be nice to be around family. I just don't need grandfather reminding me of how I shouldn't have been involved with Kristen in the first place, or Xander bragging about his possible engagement. Engagement? Xander? Yeah, you didn't hear? Oh, Xander has proposed to Chloe. I'm here when the festivities commence. <laughs> uh, well, I should be going, Brady. Um, I'll make your excuses to Victor. Uh, and listen, if you change your mind, um, we're here. Good luck tonight. The golden grandson is an attendant. Wish you. Care about you. Yeah. <laughs> Marriage is a huge step. Yeah, one well, we've taken before. <laughs> <laughs> that, that ended well, didn't it? Okay, yeah, I think we're a little older and wiser. Well, older, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I think we both know what it takes to make a marriage work. You're serious about this, are you? serious than I've ever been in my life. I, I don't know what to say. I'll help you out. <laughs> Dr. Sarah Orton. Say that you'll marry me. You may be the happiest husband and father to be. Yeah. <laughs> well, if it isn't everyone's least favorite club. Hello, mm -hmm. oh, Bonnie. Well, evening, isn't it? Have you seen Chipper? Haven't I been? What was in the air? Uncle Victor's on his way home from faraway adventures, looking to suit himself. How have you been? Well, I haven't seen any homicidal bozos lately, so that's a plus. Bygones, Bonnie, bygones. Xander, I need to talk to you. You good? What about it? Yeah, I mean, uh, um... Hello, Kiriaki says. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, Justin, that's my favorite cousin doing no offense, Alex. Don't say again. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call the airfield because I think Victor's plane should have landed by now. Okay. Hey, Auntie Meg. Hello, Alex. I'm glad you're here. I'm sure your uncle will be very pleased to see you. Yeah, Dad told me he's been really down lately. It's everything going on with Paul. He has, yes. But I think with all the family here tonight, that's going to help. So, um... You say that you and I put aside our differences for Victor. For Victor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Chad, I'm not gonna lie. Our relationship does come with a lot of responsibility. We have so much fun together. But I understand the stakes. I would never take lightly how important this is for you and for Thomas and Charlotte. I loved Abigail too. I wouldn't have allowed myself to fall for you if I wasn't in this for you long haul. I know. You should know that you are in no danger of losing me. Alex Kiriakis. Or any other rando who shows up at our door without a shirt on. You. You are the only man I want to be with. Make it up to you.
Do you mind making one of my famous dinners? Maybe later. tells me you proposed to Chloe Lane. As a matter of fact, I did. I see. So he's moved on. I figured it was high time I did the same. What is it? Xander, uh, there's something I have to tell you. I think that's the time to play Crash. Remember, is the actor who played Victor? He was pretty old, did he? Probably. Yes, he okay. did. He was they're, eighty. He was. They're eight. tiptoeing around the fact that if they're yeah. going to show him, it has to be from prior clips or something. Or Eighty-nine other. years old. Yeah. That, which is why it's time for the trade up for next week. Mm -hmm. And I think it's about. 